Hello, this is Wes with Sharp Roofing with another segment of our Sharp Roofing University. Today we want to talk a little bit about uh, wind mitigation and wind mitigation inspections and why they're necessary, how they help the homeowner out. So back in 2004, we had these four hurricanes that crossed the state. They cost the insurance providers a lot of money. Um, so in return, what they asked for was a, a code that was passed in 2007 by the Florida legislature, new re-roofing codes, because houses that were built new after 2001, 2002, they already met these codes, but what they realized was there was all those houses already existed that weren't going to meet that. So they asked when we re-roof them, we follow the code to mitigate the wind damage. That's where the wind mitigation term comes from. So you have a wind mitigation inspection report now that looks at the whole house. The roof is just a piece of that. So you need either a, if a roof, if a roofing contractor is also a, a building contractor, for example, he can give you one, but otherwise you need a licensed building contractor, home inspector, engineer, because they have to look at windows, doors, construction design, things more than just the roof. The roof's just a part of it. It's a big part of it, but it's just part of it. And so therefore, if you have a house that was roofed prior to 2007, then generally speaking, in most cases, not all, but in most cases, you're considered like a team driver. You're very expensive to insure because you create, create a lot more risk for them for major catastrophe, not a leak. They're not looking at a leak issue. They're looking at wind damage when the shingles are lifted, blown off, and, and the whole thing fails. And then of course, if you have a newer one with the roof deck is renailed, the underlayment's done the way they like it, particularly the peel and stick underlayment, and the newer shingles with a stair step pattern, six nails um, and some of the newer shingles you're less for us so you're like you're married at 35 for um, automobile insurance so i hope that's helpful hope that helps explain some of it if you have any questions just give us a call thank you